Hey y'all, how are y'all doing today? Peace on earth and love and light to you. I am Gabrielle Ether. Welcome to Awake the Wisdom Within. So, I don't have my partner here today, y'all, but I guess it's best for her not to be in this video. So, yeah, it's like really early, so she's still asleep. And she be sleeping late anyway. So, um, with that being said, let me turn this card like this. Because I'd rather that, that not be upside down. So, with this type of reading, I just want to tell you guys right now that you are protected. And, oh, I didn't get anything for you guys. These are going to be the cards you're going to be led to, like group one, group two, group three. We're going to see um, who's been sending you, who's been sending you the evil eye. Who's been attempting to try to send like a little hex to you or something like that. So with that being said, y'all, we're going to see. I don't feel like nobody that was waiting to this written today. I don't think. But maybe that's why Spirit is telling me to see about it. Because I want to see if it's if it worked or not. And the only reason I wasn't going to look into that because I was like, I don't feel like it worked. And the only reason people feel like sometimes things work is because you feel that energy coming towards you, okay? Or if you're wearing a protection piece and it breaks and you be like, okay, somebody just sent something towards me because I was wearing this protection piece and it broke. Okay, that just means that, you know, like you have been protected, okay? So, and I was just getting... That's why I put this out here, protection. And sometimes, you know, I'm going to my, I, I flip it over, you know, if I need it, if I need to, because I feel like we might have to, even though it's kind of the same energy right there too, protect ourselves from some stuff throughout the reading. So we're going to see. We're going to see though, y'all. So I'm going to get some things too. Did I have to say anything else? Okay, so everything should be basically explained in the reading, though. So we got the um, Witch's Wisdom. I think this is what it's called, Witch's Wisdom Oracle. We got the Trust Your Vibes Oracle. And those over there, Shaman's Dream and the, um, what are those? Spirit Messages, we might, I might use that. Because I'm wondering, um... When it comes to the identification, I might have to use those. So, or I might intuit to the pick it out. So, you're not going to be led to these cards. These are just extras. And I just set them up there for decoration. So, don't know. It's these. And, um, so let me tell you how I came by this reading. I'm going to put some crystals out there for y'all. Let me go ahead and do that now. Hold on. Okay, y'all, I'm bad. That is an obsidian. That's okay, but there's three though. I'm going backwards. Why am I always so backwards? Y'all, obsidian, orange, satin spar, red jasper. Okay, but it's one, two, three. I want to tell y'all how I came up with this reading because so I did my nails. I showed y'all that in the other video, right? Because I had another nail design of mine, and one day I heard, do some evil eye nails. And I didn't think it was because I needed that much protection. Y'all know how much I like protection I wear all the time. So, you know, but my spiritual team had to show me something, right? Just had to show me. And if somebody is going to look at my nails in jealousy, then that's probably the person that just be always trying to do some hanging. So one day I woke up, y'all, when I did this one, it wasn't neat, just like it's really not neat now, because I had to do it again, right? But this is a brand new nail. Like, it wasn't neat, and this side was kind of like sticking up. So, but look, so how you gonna get that off, okay? But for one, it was sticking up a little bit more than this, right? So I was trying to cut it off. It's just freaking gel, okay? It's so, it's solid as a rock. And I woke up, the whole thing was off. If I can, I'm going to insert in, insert in a picture right now, if I can. And if not, then, um, if not, then just listen to what I'm saying. Yeah, I woke up, I woke up one morning, and I was trying to get it off so I could redo it. But I woke up one morning, y'all, and it was gone. How is this gone? How? How? This middle part is just gone. How? Okay? So I felt like it had protected me. I feel like it had protected me from whatever evil eye somebody sent me. And when somebody sent an evil eye towards you guys, it's not always just a curse. It's just, it could be. Um, but 
somebody could just really just hate you so bad that they might as well sit down and burn some candles and put your name on it and burn your picture and, uh, and whatever because it can't affect you just that bad just that much so okay now we're gonna get into the reading um i'm gonna start with group one so when i was dealing these cards y'all i was already feeling like heavy 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 energy okay when it came to this deck so i will say this um just be prepared for those of you guys who will lead to this red jasper right here here we go let's see what your cards are it's a team effort what in the world what does that mean is it a lot of people yeah i hope it don't mean that feature spirit okay okay i'm getting so a message already to walk it off mm. okay i'm getting several messages lithia intensification oh my gosh which is cottage security at the main boundaries okay so i'm glad it's one of these easy readings because i can kind of tell yeah it is several th it's several things going on with you guys so the only thing that i that that i could think of off the bat is you guys are people who do some type of spiritual work that's the only time where you have a lot of people coming at you like you do because this is a lot of people okay this is a lot of people so i mean okay take for example me and i do personal readings i already know uh you have to tell on people right <laughs> so because if somebody call you and they're like is this person doing this to me or this person is doing that to me you gotta tell them right but i will say this i will say this matter of fact sometimes it, it be haters watching your readings matter of fact let me say this i'm so always extremely careful when it comes to this especially when i know this person and this person know each other can't nobody come to me and ask me about nobody that i do readings for you're not gonna get no answer because i'm not stupid for one and for two if they ask me specifically about somebody else that i do readings for never ever ever in any of my readings have i ever spoken a bad word about anybody that i have ever done a reading for it's not me it's not in my character and i hate that you hate that i'm good for real but i'm good for real i'm a good person for real <laughs> y'all and that's probably what they hate about y'all you're a good person for real because why would I say this? I'm led to this heart. You know this saying, feed your spirit. I looked down and saw this heart. And I feel like you have such a big heart. And you'll let a lot of people come to your table. Y'all, it's several messages here. Because I was like, I didn't hear this at first, but now I'm hearing something. You're like, you'll let a lot of people eat at your table, but you shouldn't. Because when I was doing those messages for, um, what was it called? The Rap Legend messages? Okay, so this message did not come out, but I did see a message that say something like, uh, I think it was from DMX, yeah. From DMX, like, I'm going to still love you, but you can't eat, you just can't eat them. And I still wish the best for you, but you just can't eat at my table. It said something like that. And you guys will feed anybody. And you'll let anybody sit at your table, but this kind of how your table needs to be sometimes. Just you by yourself. Sometimes now, spirit is going to come and fill those two empty seats up. But look at this eye. Somebody hate the fact that you are good for real. But I'm saying, that's the only time, not the only time, but off the bat. Because I know what I do. Um... And you guys, let's have a conversation about this down below. Or you guys can email me like I do sometimes. That's, that's cool. That's cool. I will talk to you. Especially if you just want to talk sometimes. It's my job. So, if you get to ask some questions, hey, that is called a personal reading. And I'm only taking emergency ones right now, okay? So, I got too much. A little too much on my plate right now, y'all, okay? So, but anyways, um... And when I pause, I'm just thinking and I'm just listening, okay? It can be 
a lot of different reasons. But when you are a person that do what I do, and you have to kind of tell on someone's, most of the time it's, it's, it's like somebody that I'm not doing readings for. So it be their mom, it be their cousin, it be their boyfriend. And then you got them people that you do readings for that will go and tell this person, I went to this person named Gabrielle Ether. And then those who actually know my real name, Shonda. I went to this person in Shonda, and you know, she told me, you be the one coming against me. And I believe her because she said, you look like this, that, that, that girl, guys, girl and guys, they will, yeah, people will do that. People will do that, and then, then they have that person hating you. But do I care? No, because they shouldn't have been doing the evil anyways. But would I rather they not, I'd rather they not do that because I wouldn't do that because it's like more drama, you know. But anyways, so with that being said, you guys got some type of high calling. Maybe you're very blunt in your family. Maybe you're the blunt one. You're the outspoken one. And so that's why. Um, Because everyone who's led to this group, you are extremely powerful people, okay? So, no. If you want to know, has anything just worked on you? No, but you feel it. And when I saw this card... This is how I know, anticipation. Because some people got extreme hate for you. You Okay, big-hearted people, big-hearted people, don't get in your head saying, but I don't think so because they don't have any reason. Hey, evil don't have to have any reason because they're evil and they don't know how to reason, okay? Okay? Don't get in your head, but no, they didn't do that. Hey. They did. I don't care if you. I don't care if you are cut from the same cloth. Meaning, sisters, brothers. If you guys are brothers and sisters and sisters and brothers, if you guys are first cousins, nieces and aunts, nephews, uncles, whatever. I don't care. Some people still have a different mindset from you. Okay. And somebody hates you, they say don't say hate. That is a strong word <laughs> because they hate you. Somebody hates you. They don't like you at all. It's a lot of people. So some of these people don't worry about it at all. Your ancestors automatically got them because I feel like it's part of your spiritual work to be outspoken, to say stuff, you know. Um, maybe... You're on Facebook or on social media, always saying stuff. Maybe you have a YouTube channel. Maybe you do work like me, some type of way. Your light work is where you kind of expose things. So you have a lot of haters, okay? So, yeah, it'd be a lot of people just sending random things to you, and you can't control that. Don't worry about that. But there are some specific people that you need to know about. Why? Because some of these people you would have never imagined. And I feel like some of them are close to you. You need to set boundaries. Boundaries. You need to do spiritual work too with this aftermath. Then I just say you cannot let everybody sit at your table. I might have to pull more cards, y'all. Because I'm trying to think about something. Now with this card, talking about letting everybody sit at your table. Some of you guys are feeding the wrong people. Literally, I'm hearing that. I'm hearing that song. They want to eat off my plate. <laughs> what she say? They want to eat off my plate. They want to feed off me. But when I had my vision, you couldn't see. And she be like, and I'm like, everybody, I don't want no. I don't need nobody. So mm, mm, uh, it's a uh, uh, put it in all our palettes. Let's do it, baby. Whatever she be saying. But then she say that part. I said that because I'm trying to get to that part where she say, um, um, cause this is what I'm trying to tell y'all. Y'all know what part I'm trying to get to in that song. Um, what she say, ah, oh, that part she say she only want people around that's gonna make her better. <laughs> How does that part go? Um. Now I can't think of how that song part go. 
But basically, that's what you got to get to. You got to get to the point where you only want people around you who's going to make you better. Let me change the subject a little bit. Um, some of the negative energy that you feel comes from the stuff that you eat, okay? So however you guys believe, you guys may not even believe me on this, but some foods, um, uh, some foods do have negative energy because if you eating a cow that was fearful before it died, that energy is now in you, okay? That comes with any other dairy product too. So... They're saying, when I heard walk it off, I was immediately hearing, like, exercise. And you have to walk off um, any type of extra stress. This is not exercising because you've ate too much unless you just feel like that. This is exercising because this is, like, walking things off because you need to, like, exercise when it comes to stress. You have a lot of energy coming towards you. This is a team effort. And I'm going to get on this some more, too. You have a lot of energy coming towards you, okay? So, by simply going outside, by some water, walking. I'm like, oh, I did that the other day. No one I was led to go there. And it was a little hassle for me getting there, me and my daughter. If you can walk along some water some type of way, um, what you're doing is releasing that negative energy. That's all you have to do. And sometimes you're releasing negative energy from some of the stuff that you've ate. And also from the energy that has um, tried to leach on to you, okay? Because some people don't like you and they literally just say things to in that energy. You feel it, okay? And you feel it and that energy tries to like attach itself to you. So walk it off. Try to do this more often if you can, you guys. Um, walk it off. Take spiritual baths if you can't really go anywhere. Somebody that came against your house, your home, they want you to lose your home. They want you to lose your security, your livelihood. It's not just your home. It's your whole livelihood, meaning they want you broke. Somebody wants you to, to depend on them. Low self-esteem people. Low self-esteem people, okay, who don't know how to wait on true love or feels like no one can love them for real. So they go out to get love. And some of those haters that are watching this, you feel like I'm encouraging you. And this is me, if anything, pointing out to you who you are so you can go and get and get the, get that change that you need, okay? Heal yourself. Get after me. Do spiritual work on yourself. Y'all think the haters will not watch you? They will. Just to see what you'll say. Just to see if you didn't, if you didn't um, figure them out or something. <laughs> but yeah they want to come against your livelihood they don't want you eating they don't want you to get no money they don't want you making no money they don't want you making no money they want you poor they want you broke they want you to call them and ask for their help Oh, yeah, I said I was going to stop tapping on the cars. Oh, I can't say when I do that in the videos because when I'm doing it now, I can't hear it. But when I play it back, it be loud. And I like that. What else I got out here? Oh, how bad they hate you. Intensification. Ain't that sad? Did I go through all the cars? I did, but I wanted to say something else on this right here with this team effort. You got somebody that that got a lot of people to come against you. They just sit down to get other people to come against you. And I'm just not hearing that because I thought I was supposed to say something else when it came to this. That just flew out of my mouth. So receive that. If you think it's not happening, it is. I hear somebody saying, where that heart card at? I hear somebody they're coming against who you are. So I always tell people the one thing the devil come at people. And when I say the devil, this is just uh, any disturbed person. They the devil. The, when they can't get anything on you, they lie. 
okay? And one thing they try to attack is your character and your integrity because they don't want people to believe you. And this per person hates, especially the person in the front, they hate that, this person hates that a lot of people like you and that they, they can depend on you. So this has something to do with your spiritual work or by you being, like I said, this bold person. The fact that you're some type of light worker, they don't like that. They don't like that it's in you for real. And I feel like they go to people and they say, like, I can literally hear somebody saying, like, like y'all think this person is this good. This person is not that good. Can't nobody be that good. Ain't that sad? But I feel like I literally hear them telling people that. But you know what? It's somebody. Oh, I was just about to say it's somebody. Y'all know I've never seen this. I've always seen that in this. I've never seen these right here. It's some I've never seen that in this car. I've had these cars for like two years, I think. Shoot, probably longer than that. Shoot. It's somebody that's off to the side that's kind of like, no. I don't they don't really believe this energy. This is a big energy, okay? I'm just saying it because it's like this is the energy, and this person looks. Okay, so I didn't, okay, this is a big energy. So, this is a very powerful person. But every time I see, every time I'm saying big energy, I feel like this is someone, if you look at them, their size will be kind of bigger. Um, I was trying to be careful how I said that because... I don't want to, you know, I know how people can be sensitive when it comes to that. So, I don't want nobody who could be potentially watching this and supposed to be getting help from me. You know, don't get the help and don't, don't receive when I'm trying to show them who's coming against them because I say, like, something wrong. So, I don't know how people feel when you call somebody, like, a big person. But I just can't help it. I couldn't help it. Every time I kept, I kept hearing big energy. Like, it's just all I kept seeing. It's all I kept seeing, like, a bigger person, like, a more rounder person, you know. Um, or this is a man, because I just see, like, broadness, you know. Um, somebody that's, that's kind of like, uh, they would be broad, like a man, or they just a more round, like, person. So, yeah, maybe a more overweight person that's doing this. And I feel like some people are out to the side. I was about to say that everybody's not believing it. And I'm just now seeing these people out to the side. Like somebody's like saying it. Like look at this purple energy. I feel like it's more pleasant energy. Somebody's like, I don't know. Somebody else like, oh yeah, I believe it because they want it to be true. They just just as messy as that person. Some other people are just too afraid to stand up for themselves. And they're like, oh, for real? Oh, okay. Spirit said they already just set some boundaries for you. You don't have to worry about it. some some of you. You don't have to worry about doing anything because Spirit said we didn't already did it for you. Some of y'all didn't already did the work anyway. Some of y'all was like, well, you say doing some work, baby. I didn't already did what I had to do. <laughs> I didn't already been to the kitchen on them. Okay, I didn't already like lit the lit the black candle on them. Good because you should. Some people need to be set down, all the way down, and don't feel bad about it. Like I said, cause this might be somebody you might be cut from the same cloth, like somebody in your your family or something. But if they don't have the the common sense, the mind to leave people alone who have not did anything with you, to you, then you have to sit them down. Because for some reason, people are just bullies. Some people are just bullies, and a bully is just somebody that's just not happy with themselves. Even though you have not done anything to them, y'all, they don't have to have a reason, okay? Big-hearted people. I'm talking to the big-hearted people out there because I know those are the ones who were led to this card. And you think people got to have a reason. Girls and guys, they do not have to have a reason, okay? They do not 
have to have a reason for this. Put up boundaries around yourself. And when it say this is saying put up boundaries, like your ancestors already got them um, covered. So no. Um, if you guys feel like anything has been attack attacking you, um, your empath, so you, your empath, so you just feel it. But you know, if you really haven't seen like a real um like I said, they're trying to attack your livelihood and you might see little things happen or whatever. But if you haven't really seen a significant decrease in your finances or nothing like that, then most likely it hasn't worked. But if you see something like that, then yeah, set boundaries. When it says set boundaries, I, what I'm really getting is put on your protection pieces. Re one reason why I got my nails like this, I feel like I could, that could have been enough. But I haven't worn this in a while and I, I like this so much, so I put that on. So set boundaries. So always protect your energy, okay? Wear more protection pieces. Um, do some protection rituals if you're not into protection pieces. And I think that is all I gotta say, y'all. But yeah, I just I guess I really wanted to stress: don't feel like people cannot have to have a reason. Cause they don't have to have no reason y'all they just don't they just jealous because they cannot they do not have the same light as you they do not have the same heart as you they have pretended too long to have so much of love in them or you know they walk around saying oh i promote love and light love and light or you know i'm promoting you know how people in the conscious community do it. You know what I'm saying? But they don't they can they can say that all day, but they don't they don't have it in them like you and for some reason people look at some people, those low vibrational people, they get mixed up and feel like um those low vibrational people they get mixed up and they feel like because they don't like you Something turns in that mind and says enemy for some reason. Cause you like, okay, well, they don't have to like me, but how did I get how did how did this person how did I become this person enemy? Because for some reason, the people that they are jealous of, something just tricks them in their mind and it just something like goes off in their mind and they says okay i don't like this person so now this person is my enemy and they will literally sit down and come after you so i was wondering should i go into these cards right here and i believe i am and i'm only gonna be on in a little while because i feel like you guys really need to know who is this coming against you and why i'll see if i can get more of a why and more of a who when i use the shame the um shameless dreams card so i was kind of trying to get away from that because i'm a little lazy sometimes but i would definitely go all the way through it just to get this reading out for you guys um let me get those cards out now i'm gonna already shuffle them y'all y'all know how i do i'm back y'all so we got who and we got why set the why across this kind of thing will be no good as much as I be up here like, see, I could just do something like that. Y'all, who? Who? Hmm, somebody in your home, maybe. Who? Gathering around a power of the community. Hometown. Okay, so. I look at this card as like a marriage card um, sometimes because it's a contract, sacred contract. And I look at it like um, the like the the contract that people come in come to when they, I mean the 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 agreement that married people have to sign in order to become married like that. I be feeling like sometimes that that's a uh, uh, ritual in itself. That's them signing their souls over to the devil sometimes uh, with marriage contracts. Not to say um, I, that I don't understand that. Not to say that all marriages are bad or something like that. So, I desire marriage one day, I think, in a certain kind of way. I think I do. Anyways, so, who is it? I wanted to, I was hoping to get a sign 
Um, but this is somebody. So immediately I heard either when I heard the power when I saw home, I was thinking somebody in your home. Then when I saw the power community community hometown, so um somebody in your community. So this is somebody. It's always somebody close to y'all. It's always somebody close to you, okay? So, but some of you guys, you live with this person. You live with them. And if you live with somebody with the injury that I told you about a second ago, move out. Move out. You have to. Trust the process. Um, Because Yahweh is going to give you, huh, look at this, a beautiful home too. I got another home card that comes out. I always look at it like um that's like kind of like something shaky. But when this comes out, this this is like I tell people like this is like a good home or something like that. So I feel like right now, right now I'm saying that when you guys move out, you're gonna have a, a really beautiful home. This is someone in your home and somebody that you are really connected to, if this is not a marriage, okay? Look at this conflict right here. And I feel, no, this says country. Why did I think that said conflict? And I don't think that's the first time I thought they said conflict. I was about to say somebody that you guys always have like some type of conflict with in the house. But no, this is just saying contract. So maybe this is, um, this was there. Let me tell you what this is, okay? This is either your spouse, husband, or wife, or someone that you have some type of spiritual contact with. Uh, contract with so this could be like a old um a twin flame so maybe you guys live with your girlfriend your boyfriend twin flame soulmate um please don't feel like these people can't do you no harm because they can i don't care what kind of mate what kind of mate or flame situation you think they are anybody can get into a low um a low vibrational situation so this is someone that you have some type of real strong connection with okay like a strong connection some connection so this would be some type of spiritual contract okay so um like i said some type of marriage i mean not some type of marriage but either a marriage your husband or your wife or some type of spiritual contract okay some type of spiritual connection, spiritual contract. A spiritual contract would be someone that says like, okay, we are in this person's life for this reason. That that reason is the contract that you make before you even get here, okay? So, um, golly. So, why do I, why am I feeling something like crawling all over me? Yeah. Please watch this energy. Because y'all already know, some of you guys know, especially if you've been watching me long enough, when I do these readings, when I'm doing these readings, I will experience some things that you guys will possibly experience. If you feeling things crawling on you, that's somebody that has sent something after you. So look, mm -mm. you protected though. Let me put out my pentagram. So they will know. Any kind of haters, any kind of haters, any kind of devils, negative energies. If you're here just for negative reasons, you can exit my channel now. I'm tired of playing with you. Okay. Some of you guys, you might feel like something is crawling on you sometimes. It's spiritual. It's spiritual. Somebody is somebody's negative. They they either said something after you, or either this person just has negative energy. Okay. So, or this is somebody in your within your own community, and I feel like this have to come out because this is significant because you have to know that this is somebody close to you. Like I said, more than one person with this with this with this um group, it might be hard to really say because you got a lot of people coming against you and you might be one of those people that just have a bad reputation because you're different from everybody and you're not afraid to speak your mind there's an individual who wears their hair like they kind of wear their hair kind of big 
Um, so they either wear like natural in a fro, or maybe they just have like um, really curly hair, cause they wear they wear their hair kind of big. And I'm just looking at this. One way y'all know. And yeah, this is somebody that pretends to be like sweet and loving, but they're really not. Okay. Why? I mean, somebody you probably grew up with because I was getting hometown. Why? Huh, I was thinking I was hoping I would get <laughs> a card. Uh, I was hoping I would get like a Zodiac card so I can just be more clear with you guys. But this is the why. This is the why. So this wouldn't be who would be coming against you this would probably be you so you either have taurus energy you are a taurus um and why okay so this is just so if this is saying why then you probably have taurus energy okay so let's say what taurus energy is i'm a taurus so so okay so Tauruses are Taur tauruses are usually attractive um just like virgos just like scorpios um just like libras um gemini's um those are the some of the people leos those are some of the signs that are usually kind of like naturally attractive okay so uh tauruses are usually naturally attractive and um usually usually uh voluptuous um they like the finer things that like good quality so maybe you carry yourself with uh tauruses can come off kind of like you know snotty sometimes so they probably don't like that about you thinking that you probably acting a little stuck up you probably come off a little stuck up probably come off a little arrogant you know because you are if you especially if you're a taurus if you're not a taurus you just kind of bring this taurus energy okay and some people some people uh especially they're low vibrate they're low vibrational they don't know they don't know how to handle confidence now so you might be a little arrogant for real, or you might just be really confident. Cause one thing about a Taurus, cause yeah, I know I can be like that too. A Taurus will kind of, kind of brag sometimes, <laughs> you know, they will kind of brag because they are proud of themselves. But let me tell you one thing about a Taurus, a Taurus is, uh, especially they high vibrational. They're usually not lying. They're usually just very proud of themselves. They're very proud people, you know? And, um, but the thing is, uh, it kind of, it will kind of actually take a Taurus like a long time to even see that about themselves. So once they see that about themselves, they gonna be like, um, they gonna be like Black China. If I was you, I probably hate my fine self too. <laughs> I did like, I think I posted like a picture of myself one time and I said that. But you gonna have that Black China energy. You have that Black China energy, okay? If I was you, I I finally, I mean, I probably hate my fine butt too. Is Black China a Taurus though? Cause that is that is so Taurus energy, isn't it? So, <laughs> but anyway, it's probably because you have that Taurus energy, and they just hate the way you look. They way they hate your your aura, the way you come off. So that's why, y'all, because you you okay. Or you could just be a Taurus sun, moon, rising sign, maybe Venus sign, you know, um, uh, because they don't want you. They because you changing on them. You changing on them. Okay, they don't like this. You moving out of stagnation. That's why. Then I say that in the reading of the earlier reading, the reading, um, I'm just the reason the reading that I just gave y'all. I just told y'all that they wanted you to put to depend on them. So what was you guys broke a little while back? Did you depend on them for something? This is why y'all, this is your why. Because you are moving out of stagnation. Hmm. They want, want you to be this dust devil. <laughs> they want you to be that. But that's why. Because they see some of you guys and you didn't came up. If you had came up, they think you are. You're changing on them. 
they don't like this. Some people just cannot handle that. So let me tell y'all something. Okay, so this is one of the personalities that's hard for a lot of people to understand. When I'm doing personal readings, a lot of people don't understand this personality where you'll get people who who will hate you for being yourself. You you kind of get that. But some people, um, some people don't like to see you doing better than them because people like, why they hate me? They got more than me. They don't want you to do better than them. Once you do better than them, all of, it, all of a sudden, in their insane mind, you turn enemy. Like, better than them starts to, in their insane mind, in their insane mind, in their well, uh, uh, very, very cold, dark heart. For some reason, they start to get jealous. And jealous just like uh touches something in their mind and makes them say enemy like all of a sudden now you are they look at you and they say like enemy 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 that's that's why that's why y'all for some reason people just don't they just, they just, I, y'all, I can't explain this. That's all. That's all, y'all. I explained it as, as much as I could. And I feel like y'all got a good explanation for it. It's just a shame. And some stuff you just can't explain. Okay? I mean, I can't explain it no more than what I've already explained it because goodness gracious. <laughs> That's all, y'all. Continue to come and grow with me and subscribe so we can become a part of each other's tribe. Bye. Hey, group two. Okay, so those of you guys who were led to this orange satin spar right here. Let's see what your cards are. Let's move this all the way down in here so we can have some room. One intention. Okay, I feel like somebody intentionally, like they went straight to you. Oh my gosh, this is Stalin, death card, it's Halloween card, Stalin, but it says death, but for the type of reading that we're doing now, mm. high priestesses, high priest responsibility, okay, somebody went to somebody to send something towards, to send something to you, cloak yourself in light, yeah, they do that. listen to your heart, Two heart cards like this. And it's another chest. See the solution. So, somebody went to someone and they actually sent death after you. They, It is you. Listen to your heart because you don't want to see who this is. You don't want to see who this is, okay? But listen to your heart. It's, 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 it is who it is, okay? Um... They went to somebody else, paid someone else to even send death towards you. This is how much they don't want you here. I'm going to have to do y'all like I did the last deck. Um, pull from the other deck to see exactly who this is and to see why, I think. Because when I was doing this part, it was just basically to say, like, um, is someone doing sending a, a hex on you or what kind or you know who is it and stuff like that so um it's basically telling me like yeah who's doing all the energy that's doing it but not i don't feel like they're so specific for who's so i am going to specifically look at who if i can't see it right now this is somebody you're not listening you're not seeing you can see. They want you to see the solution. You're about to see it now. And they're about to tell you what to do about it. And what you got to do about it, you got to fight fire with fire. That's for sure. I get to that. But you got to listen. Because spirit is like, you, like I was saying, group one. Maybe you, you was led to group one also. These big-hearted people don't want to see. You're going to have to cloak yourself in light. You got to put on protection pieces, okay? Because this person has went to some type of sea or and actually sit down the reason you're not listening they want you to they want you to stress the reason why your special team is stressing to listen is because they're saying that 
this person sat down and called out your name. Um, they actually said, Mary Magdalene. <laughs> First thing that came to my head. Mary Magdalene. I don't like you. I hate you. And I want you dead. This card didn't come out for any other reason but this. And I'm sorry, that's what I'm hearing. That's what I'm hearing. So why does this person... I felt like these are like... What are these above her head? What are these? Do y'all know what those are? Like, I don't know. But why did this look like... Okay, so she looks like an evil person, right? I kind of hate how they had to depict like Halloween. Not, well, uh, Samhain as something negative because um i know in death doesn't have to be negative but kind of made her look you know but why did it look like to me she had two mouse ears that's what i was thinking when i first saw this i thought she had two mouse ears like she had on my halloween costume but i saw that for a reason so somebody is like a rat hmm i said this my friend was telling me they were seeing rats the other day and i feel like this could be y'all situation too Maybe you feel like you've seen a rat. Maybe you look to the side and you think you see something going across the floor real quick. And then if you and, and then say if it is an actual a actual a actual rat, I be having to tell my baby to slow down. I gotta slow down too. Say if it is an actual rat, because I was about to say you're not really seeing a rat. It's spiritual. That's what I was about to say. But Say if it is, this is still spiritual. Because this person is like a sneaky little rat. A mouse. So, if we're looking at rats or mouse or whatever. And I don't know why I'm drawn more to mouse rather than rat. Because mouse are small. Rats are big. And rats are, and rats are small. So, maybe this is someone short in stature. Um, this person hates, do not like themselves. They don't like themselves. They don't like you. The one reason why they don't like you is because you love yourself. And they see that. This person don't like you because they see that you love yourself. You work on yourself. You try to grow. You try to do whatever that needs to be done. And they don't do that. Very insecure person. They don't like you. And like a mouse, they might be, they might do things subtle, so small that you don't really know that it's them doing it because they doing stuff sneaky like a rat is. Because a rat sometimes what can be right beside your foot and you don't know until you turn around and then it try to run back up under the stove or something hot. Those of y'all who know about rats being rats and mouse or whatever being in your house. It would mean my friend was saying earlier today, and they so good at hiding. You hear you can hear them sometimes though, but they so good at hiding. They can get in the smallest area. So you probably don't know. You're probably really thinking. Like, I know it ain't this person. Your intuition has shown you before. What a card at? Your intuition has shown you. That's why I said listen to your heart. But don't nobody want no mouse in a house. Why? Because they leave diseases. And this person can leave a disease spiritually. Because, um, um, mouse, they're able to... Um, they like to be in filthy places and in nasty places. So everybody has a, a mouse. That don't mean your home is nasty, but that's why they hide like in the, under the stove and stuff like that. But you'll often find them in filthy place, places and nasty places. That's where they'd rather be. So that's why you don't want them in your home because they can come in your home and make your stuff nasty so this might be somebody in your home 
but they got a rat spear. They got a mouse spear. I'm saying mouse spear because I feel like this person is small in stature. Because I'm just hearing mouse. I'm hearing mouse more than rat. And y'all, why have I always thought these was mouse ears or rat ears on her? I'm just not seeing it. Some type of flower or something. Somebody did not want you on this earth. They really did. They really did want you. They really did want you dead. And somebody actually sat down and they said your name. Mary Magdalene. I wish you would die. Somebody did that. Not with that being said. Spirit is saying everybody did not do that. That's not for everybody. Somebody did intentionally put some type of hex on you. This might not necessarily be evil. I feel like this is a hex. And they went to somebody and they paid them to do it. Okay? That's for one person. For another person, this person went to someone to hex you. What I'm getting... It just I'm looking at responsibility. So, um, somebody didn't do it. They was this person is such a high priestess that they saw right through this person. They was like, no. Nah, no, your ancestors told them, no, nah, don't do it. And they didn't do it. But has this person been gunning for you? Yeah, this person been gunning for you. They actually sat down and said, I don't like this person. I don't want them in my life no more. We got to do the who and why. We got to do that. Because I felt like it wasn't going to come out exactly on here. But for some reason, you just don't want to see it. You don't want to believe. This person is this evil because they risk death on you, but they are. You're going to see the solution. They're saying, cloak yourself in light because this mouse is probably in your house. So you're going to have to cloak yourself in light. Because this person probably, like, literally be, like, you know, <laughs> under your bed, you know, <laughs> peeping, in, peeping in your door. You know, like they say, sleep sleep with one eye open. This person don't like you. They don't like you. They don't like themselves. They don't like you. I just told y'all that. I'm just looking at her. At, at, I'm just getting reading the energy from this car, and I feel like this person don't like you because they don't like themselves. And if you have to live with this person, you don't have anywhere else to go. And you have to live with this person. Then cloak yourself in light. Because this is one of them situations where you got to sleep with one eye open, okay? Those of you who want a solution and you feel like you're one of the people that they have sent a hex on, fight fire with fire. Send some fire back towards them. That's what you do. You have to. I, this is really, really, really pulling on me. Listen to your heart. Because somebody do not want to feel like it's this person. But Spirit said, we've shown you before. You have already seen the solution. We've shown you this before. But for some reason, some people have seen seen this person be a mouse towards them seen it and they for some reason are still saying they don't want to see it you're not listening to your heart honey let's get to this exactly who this person is and why and i'm going to use the um shauna's oracle for that Okay, y'all, so we got who and why. So, yeah, I've already told y'all that a little bit, but we're going to get, we're going to dig a little deeper into this who and why. Y'all, I just keep scratching up my couch. <laughs> These cards. Okay. 
Let me guys probably what's led to group one. Because I'm, especially with this card, I'm looking at, again, this is who. Sky riding the fates. Like, the the fates. Like, I feel like twin flame energy. Somebody karmic. This is the who. Okay, so automatically virgo or virgo energy okay sun moon a rising sign and i forgot to say this so if i say virgo um i forgot to say the last time when i was talking about taurus on the last one if it's virgo energy then they could very well be somebody that's on the cusp of virgo so who you know what comes before before virgo uh uh what comes before virgo my daughter's a virgo so would it be a uh, Leo? And what comes after Virgo? Um, uh, uh, Virgo or Virgo energy. So this is Virgo energy. It could be somebody on the cusp. So um, what comes after Virgo? Libra. So, okay. So in a ways. Um... I got a similar card last time. When I'm looking at this card, sky right in the face. This is like destiny. So somebody that you probably thought that you was destined to be with. But nope. Because we looking at who's doing this. Nope. So this is probably like a twin flame or like someone karmic. Karmic people, twin flames. Like I teach people, I don't like to. That's why I don't like when people talk about twin flames the way most people do. Because they feel like twin flame, it just means that they that this person is just automatically meant for me. And I've always felt like Twin Flame is the one who mirrors you. So they come to teach you about you. They come to teach you your lesson. That's why a lot of Twin Flame relationships are toxic. And it very, very, very rarely that people end up with their Twin Flame. Because really, it don't be their Twin Flame that they end up with. It's usually their soulmate. That's how I teach people. But at the end of the day, believe how you want. Okay? But, um... But this is someone that you felt like you was, um, it was like <laughs> written in the sky. You felt like you was destined to be with someone. So this could be somebody that you was that, that you're with. Now ain't that sad? Somebody that you used to be with, an ex or something like that. Ain't that sad when someone that you used to be with just started to hate you so much? The last reading was saying because they weren't you, because they saw how confident you are in yourself they don't like that this is a lost person getting back to integrity this is a why i mean this is not why they're doing it this is who's doing it this is someone that they're lost so i feel like maybe you explain this to them before they lost i'm looking at eight that's a financial number or maybe they have life path eight if you know this about them some they got eight around them some type of way maybe their birthday is around the eighth or something like that i have no idea why i'm seeing this why why eight seems so significant or maybe it is just 35 i don't know why maybe this person is 35 years old around 35 years old so anyways so I feel like you said this to this person before. Getting back to integrity, this is what they need to do. This person has no integrity. They um don't have any type of will. They don't have any type of mo motivation. This is a lost person. And I feel like you've used that to describe them before. And that's how you know who I'm talking about. Why does that look like? What is that? Because I feel like it looks like a ring. And first thing I heard, like this right here, looks like a ring. First thing I heard, red wedding ring. So they like a ring. What is that? I don't know. But I heard wedding ring. So yeah, somebody that you would like used to be with. And maybe you felt like you was going, um, like you said, you, like I said, someone that you felt like you was destined to be with. So maybe you thought this person was going to be your husband. Maybe you thought this person was going to be your wife. Virgo energy. Soon, sun moon rising um venus sign or they could be around the cusp okay because this is virgo energy hmm. we was looking at the mouse last time but now this is the cat the cat and mouse they kind of go together huh they don't get along, they say, naturally.
a cat energy could be just as similar as a mouse energy because huh they can fit into some small places too you don't see them coming sometimes they be right beside your leg and you don't know so maybe this is the energy you just really don't feel like that it could be this person like i said somebody small in stature but it is this person this person actually sent like evil eye towards you or hex towards you or something like they didn't actually sit down and did you thought this person didn't have it in them they do this is who if this is who and i'm getting overflow overwhelmed and plenty then maybe it's someone who um is quite emotional <gasps> Someone, okay, so this will be how you would explain them. Overflow, overwhelming, and plenty. Someone who do not know how to control their emotions. So when they get mad, they get mad. They get mad, mad. They get big mad. They don't know how to control their emotions. So if you do something to them, this is one of them. This is this is that type of energy like a, 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 a sneaker in your uh, gas tank energy. Like a... <laughs> You know, like a uh, uh, Kio, Kio car carry Underwood type energy. You know, no, she did that um, out of self defense. So, hmm. <laughs> like she really was doing bad. But you know what I'm saying? Like a um, slit your tires type of energy. When um, I'm gonna get you back type of energy. When you do, when you do, if they felt like you betrayed them, and I think you guys probably have experienced something with them. Sevens can indicate that you're going into the right direction. So we ain't talking about that now. So I feel like this could be like uh, a, seg a seven in a negative form that lets you know that you're going in the wrong direction with this person. So I hope you guys are not still with this person. Especially if they got energy like that, sending you hexes and evil eyes and stuff. Scorpio. So this is why. So you could be a Scorpio. A Scorpio energy. Why? Why? Because this person is an empty well and they use you to replenish themselves. Look at that seven again. They use you for that. They they try to pull on your energy. This person has nothing. What was I saying earlier, y'all? Someone who lacks motivation. why teachability hmm this is your why i can't say this is a teachable moment for you could be but if this is your why i feel like this is somebody like i was saying earlier um really try to um be more like you well maybe it's someone that's, that will be younger than you a little bit more little I mean, when well, not little, a whole lot. If they're doing all that immature. So, um, why? Uh, immaturity. They pull off of you a lot. They pull off your energy. They try to leech off of you. So, why? It's because this person is kind of, um, they don't really know how to handle themselves and in certain situations to whatever reason they came up with to why they want to come after you is because they just kind of like i was saying they just really can't be you they see that they can't really leech out for you no more they can't learn from you anymore they can't get things from you anymore so i guess you guys probably cut them off why because you got scorpio energy movement towards adventure spirit of the river huh so you got this spirit about you like i was saying water sign so if you're not a scorpio sun moon or rising or venus sign then maybe you got scorpio energy maybe on a the cusp of a scorpio or let's talk about scorpio energy here oh this is gonna be hard for me why wouldn't they like a scorpio scorpios like i was saying last time usually attractive people um uh, scorpios huh, introverted and extroverted type of people uh very confident like i was saying last time um yeah they can be think about scorpios they don't 
have the, they can be emotional. Their emotional, emotionalism, <laughs> is that a word? Comes from more of their passion. Uh, so this person seeing you have like the spirit of the river moving towards adventure. Oh, they just haters, y'all. And yeah, sometimes it be the people in your household, like I was saying earlier, it be the people that you've dated before. They don't like, they just don't see, they see that you're prospering. Look at this file for change. They see you're prospering. They see you changing. They don't like it. They point blank, simply a hater. You have Scorpio energy. So, um, that just means that you probably someone that's just kind of like, yeah, a lot of times Scorpios, they just, they real nonchalant. Like, I don't care. I don't care. You really just get a reaction out of a Scorpio when it's, it's something they, when, when it's something that they working on, something that they dealing with, or if you mess with them or something, you know, um. But the positive sides of a Scorpio, that will be kind of the energy that you carry. And like a nonchalant energy. Like you just, uh, they are very, they are adventurous people. Uh, they they really are, you know, type of people that come off like, um, they, they have their own style. You know, they usually attractive people. They, you know, just, they come off like, they don't, they... They're, they're very confident. Like I was saying, very confident. I was saying it earlier. And this person don't like that. Because they're not. They're not that way. And I guess you come off very confident. And, and the person just don't like that. Hey, boo-boo. And that is all, y'all. That is all. That is all, y'all. And that's what I was really getting. I was really getting mostly somebody like an ex or something like that. So, um, and if it's not an ex, someone, maybe just, uh, it could be just whoever, you know, that is somebody close to you, um, with Virgo energy. And that's all y'all continue to come and grow with me and subscribe so we can become part of each other's tribe. Bye. Hey y'all, for those of you guys who were drawn to group three, uh, or this black obsidian. Is this a snowflake obsidian? I think it's a snowflake obsidian. I think. What is this? Um, I'm going to put obsidian on there uh, if it ain't. Okay. Here are your cards. Let's move these all the way down because we need to get. Um, Y'all, i just been scratching on the couch. Okay. Come on, you healer guys. Let's see who's been sending the evil eye off. For you, if it worked or whatever, I'm gonna look at all that. So, um, or Hicks or whatever. Wow, this deck got a lot. Here, so come on, you healer guys. Seek solid to expect the best ritual. Somebody, mm, spirit initiation altar dedication. Hmm, I'm getting like cauldron, pinnacle, respect. I mean, yeah, ritual invocation. Some of you guys kind of have been affected by some of the hicks that's been sent towards you. Seek solitude. Because some of you guys, I feel like, are kind of cool with this person. And I feel like maybe this is like a group of people that... Okay, so I got some messages. Some of these people are not necessarily... Um, Definitely not sending any hexes out for you. More of evil eye because some people are just kind of jealous. And I feel like this is kind of innocent. And you should just remove yourself from these people because they're just bad energy. Okay. So, um, anybody that's wondering if you have a group of friends, 
the energy is just kind of bad energy. Because some people... Then I can't even really say they send an evil eye towards you. They just, because I don't feel like it's just that strong. But some people, energy is just bad. And they're looking at you like, for whatever reason. And if you're an empath, this color on your healer guy's card is here. It's because that you probably absorb some of that negative energy. So you should go and take a spiritual bath because of that. And that's really all that I would say to you guys. For those of you guys who are, are around a group of friends, you need to seek solitude to be by yourself sometimes. For some other people of you, in meditation, I think Spirit has showed you this. I'm looking at expect the best, but I feel like with this expect the best, I think um, someone kind of like um, has like targeted you. Especially did some type of ritual towards you let's go back to the people who hang around a group of people one reason these people don't like you is because they try to initiate you in some type of way this could be something um deep and it could it couldn't be it can't be either, either can be or can't be. But some type of way, they felt like we wanted you to be more like us. And you was like, no, nah. so they don't like you. But don't think you can still hang around. Don't think your no was okay because your no was not okay. Your no was not okay. It was not. They don't like you now. So go be by yourself because they tried to put, put you into something. And one reason you was like, no, nah, because your spiritual team spoke to you and said, no. Like, whatever mess they in. I feel like some of you guys, it's like a money scheme, too. Some kind of money scheme. And they tried to put you in it, and your spiritual team was like, nah. So, with this initiation card, that's what I'm getting. They tried to put you in some mess, your spiritual team was like, nah. And this was not okay with them. They didn't like that. They didn't like that you was like, you weren't going to do it. Somebody took it personally. They they weren't smart enough. They didn't vibrate high enough to know that you was just looking out for yourself and you can do that. They they took it personally. Like you can do that. You don't have to like. I don't have to I don't have to do everything y'all do. I don't have to agree with everything that y'all do. And if it's not a group of people, maybe it's just somebody. Because I feel like this reading is resonating with you because you've been in this situation before. And they took it personally. So since somebody took it personally, somebody got so mad at you that they actually was like, I'm going to go to the kitchen. I'm going to cook up some stuff on you, okay? For some of you, I'm really feeling it's kind of innocent. They was mad and, and, they, and they, they left it alone. They sent you a half of an evil eye because it, it's just really, they was just offended and that's it. But the reason I say half of an evil eye because I feel like it wasn't that strong. And I feel like you guys just felt that energy towards you when they was mad. You was like, dog, I was wondering was they mad? Yeah, kind of felt that energy. I'm looking at that with this. Like they said something towards you, but it, it really wasn't intentional. Uh, for some, some of you guys, it was, but I'm going to get to that in a minute. It really wasn't intentional. It was more so of you felt that energy. You felt that, you felt the consequence of that no harm. And spirit is like, that's all it is to it, okay? And that would be all for you guys uh, who was dealing with that situation. Now, for some of you guys, it did go a little bit more deep because somebody said, somebody said, somebody it actually invoked one of the goddesses and gods to help them out. Somebody probably tried to, you know, invoke Oshun, give me y'all, Papa Ligma, or some pop a leg or something like that to help them out mm -hmm. i'm looking at this magic circle card you are protected you are protected okay but i'm looking at this magic circle card as if this is what somebody did actually went into a circle on you somebody actually did what they actually did was somebody did some root work you felt it a little bit with this magnet card here this is what i'm getting and i was talking about Another set of people, but this is another set of people. I'm talking to a lot of people here. So, yeah, you kind of felt it a little bit. You felt it a little bit. 
with this collar on your heel, collar on your heel, guys, car right here. The only thing I'm getting to know is like take you to a spiritual bath because you're an empath and that's the only way reason you felt it. It didn't really hurt nothing. It didn't hurt anything at all. Um, I was kind of getting it in one of the other readings, but for you guys, no, it didn't hurt you at all. Not one single bit, but you felt it. Somebody went to their altar on you. <laughs> <laughs> somebody really took something that you did personal like i was just saying y'all they took it personal they went to their higher deity on you i was just saying they really did cast the circle look at it look at it they did all that they did some root work they did all that hard work for nothing. Because you know what I feel for this group? I at least felt something for the, some of the other groups that could have happened. But you guys, I no. I mean, the only thing that I'm here with the call on your heel, the healer guys, like, is, like, it affected you because you, um, it affected you because you're an empath and you felt it. I didn't, I know, I didn't really say that in the other groups. I think one group, I kind of, I, I felt what they was trying to come come in on something but i didn't really feel i didn't really get nobody got any type of hurt or whatever and but i'm looking at this right here like maybe it's like medical attention or something like that so hey well some of you guys if you have had felt some type of something you feel like you have to go to the doctor for it the only thing you need to do is take a spiritual bath because someone what you felt is somebody that sent something out for you and some of you guys are just intuitive so you felt it because you're intuitive and some of you guys are just so protected that your spiritual team is saying um somebody tried to send something to you towards you and we're going to show you that We're gonna show you that. So that's how you felt it. Like I was saying in the beginning, some of you guys probably necklaces and spiritual pe pieces been breaking and stuff like that. Take your spiritual bath. That's all I gotta say about that. This is an actual hex. This is what this is. It's more than an evil eye. This is an actual hex. I'm not really getting any more of this. I'm going to do like I've been doing the other other ones. Come right back with a more specific who and why. Okay, y'all. So this is who. A more specific who and why. Let's look at who. Who's doing this? <laughs> okay, so. It's just something about birds with this person. I remember when these cards first came out and this other bird card flew out. And I just looked at it and I was like, is that right? So I put it back in, put it back in, put it back in and another bird card came out. So there's something about, maybe this is there's something about the eye because I'm looking at this eye and this eye. Somebody who watches you like an eagle. I was about, it's something about birds in this person. What is it? I don't know. I was about to say, maybe they kind of look like a bird. Or, you know when people call people like bird? Like, they have like bird. You know how people be like that bird or something like that? Now, I've never really gotten to that. So, I really don't know what it means. What does that mean? Y'all tell me in the comment section below. Y'all know when people call people birds or something like that? Like, in a negative way? They like, bird, that bird, or something like that. What does that even mean? So, maybe they got that type of personality or whatever. I don't know. But, I'm I'm paying attention to this eye. Maybe this person that watch, watches you like an eagle, watches you like a, a hawk person. This person like, um... Um... I was thinking just more so than the hex and the evil eye, but it's evil eye too because they watch you a lot. Well, we're looking at who? Libra, a Libra energy, sun, moon, or rising sign. Or maybe Libra cusp. So you're on a cusp of Libra. That means you could be a... Virgo, they could actually be a Virgo or a Scorpio because they're on a cusp for Libra, or either you know, because this is like Libra energy. We're looking at who though, so 
So is this somebody that you say, this person have a hard time making decisions? Mm -hmm. But they, like I said, they don't have to be a Libra. This could be they Libra, um, not only they sun sign, but they moon or rising sign. With some guy, I like that. With with, a, with the outfit or something, that that would be good, real nice. I th I think like elaborating that pink with those pink shades would be nice. What pink shades? And Tommy. Yeah, I was talking to my son right quick. I just had to. Somebody that you used to really really like. You don't mess with the shoes. Okay, y'all. I had to pause it a little bit to talk to my son, but somebody that you you somebody that I'm still laughing at him too. He was like, he gotta go because somebody looking at his car too hard, y'all. Somebody that you really liked a lot. So I'm looking at this Brandon Hart as if it's always somebody that you know. Yeah, it's always somebody that you used to know, know, okay? So somebody that you're probably really, really, really cool with, like um, a real close friend or somebody. Or, um, but I'm, I don't know why I'm hearing like a relative, more so relative. This person feels betrayed by you. And we're not even on the why yet. But we're about to be. We're still on who. Um, if it's something about this eye, maybe somebody has like big eyes or something like that. Maybe they're known, like, um, maybe they, maybe it's one of their features. Maybe they have, like, these big, beautiful eyes or something. So I'm just really looking at this eye. That way you'll know who it is. And what is that? I've never noticed that before. What is that? Is that an eye? Is that another eye? It looks like it. And another one. It's something about eyes. Y'all, maybe this person just really is like, it's more, I thought it was more so a hex, but it's both of them, y'all. This person, it's something about this person's eyes, too. Shoot, that could be a Pisces, because Pisces have, like, these real peculiar eyes. Leos, Leos are like that, too. But it's something about the eyes, so, it, and then I'm really getting this eye so much as if this person really, really sends you the, sends you the evil eye. And I wasn't even picking that up at first. This person really, that's why this card had to come out. This person really, really sends you the evil eye. And the first card that came out was this peacock card. And I just couldn't get the, um, when I put it back in the deck, y'all, I really couldn't get the message for it. But the peacock, what? The peacock has evil eyes all over its feathers, right? Yeah, so maybe I really need to know who this is. I was like, how the peacock gonna be significant? How? But, um, cause I like, I guess cause I like peacocks so much. I was like, how? And maybe they do too. But this person um, really sends you the evil eye. So they really be, like I said, like stalking you, looking at you, like all the time trying to see what you're doing and stuff haters they feel betrayed by you they feel like you did something to them so let's go ahead and look at the why this is pretty much your who so i hope you guys can guess by by the who uh i mean by the why i mean yeah by the who but we're about to look into the why treasures hidden in shadows this is jealousy treasures hidden in shadows they feel like you are 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 they don't like the the shine that you're getting if you get it like if you are maybe like social media famous or like you're famous in the neighborhood something like that maybe you are actually famous you know on this video and you don't they feel like you don't deserve the 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 accolades that you do get they feel like you don't deserve it like the money that you're making from your job or something like that they feel like you don't deserve that um why because they are empty well this is just an empty person jealous why that's why why this kind of same two cards came out last time? I really, really shuffled the last time. And I was like, because, and I told the last people because they can't leech out for you no more. They was like, you was more like their teacher. They feel betrayed by you. So maybe that's why they feel betrayed because they feel like maybe you was like their teacher. Maybe you showed them something. And if you cut them off, they don't like that. 
I was trying to see if it was your fault in some type of way. I don't really get that energy, but if somebody really trying to do something to you, most likely it's their fault because they don't, you don't really have to because we we talking about people that's like sending evil eye after you or like in like hexes and stuff. So like, so if they're doing it, most likely it's like them being jealous. So teachability, like I was saying last time because they can't learn from you anymore. They can't leech from you anymore and they just don't like that. They don't like that you get in the dot the they don't like that you um making the money that you're making that you're getting the accolades that you're getting. So whatever you're doing, if you got a good job, they don't feel like you deserve it. They don't want you to deserve it, whatever it is. But what's the real reason? Cause this is just an empty person, okay? I'm even starting to see like an eye in this. This person is really jealous of you. Bless their heart. Bless their heart because we ain't even going to talk about their energy no more. That's all, y'all. Continue to come and grow with me and subscribe so we can become a part of each other's tribe. Bye.